course, the information in this module is accurate and complete to the best of our knowledge. All recommendations are made without guarantee on the part of the author or the sponsoring institutions. The author and the sponsoring institutions disclaim any liability in connection with the use of this information. The evolution model used in the construction of the Blossom matrices, this is the percentage of identity, does not necessarily reflect single point mutations as they occur in biological systems. Also, Blossom matrices take the statistics from short block segments that may be embedded in larger dissimilar sequences. Point accepted substitution matrices, or PAM matrices, are based on a more explicit and biologically sound evolutionary model and on a statistic that are not restricted to block segments. The construction of PAM matrices, which we overview in this model, is also based in the more elaborate mathematical notion of Markov chain. As you finish this model, you will be able to Explain the concept of point accepted mutations. Describe the main elements in the derivation of PAM substitution matrix. And compare PAM and Blossom substitution matrices. Evolution is naturally depicted in phylogenetic trees, which show the evolutionary interrelations of a group of organisms derived from a common, often unknown ancestor. Each node represents an organism and each branch a descendant relation. The common ancestor is placed in the root of the tree. In this illustration, a sequence of samples is organized in a phylogenetic tree according with their descendants relations. A point accepted mutation, or PAM, is the substitution of a single amino acid with another single amino acid which is accepted by natural selection. Thus, mutations that are lethal or rejected by natural selections are not point-accepted mutations. Point-accepted mutations cannot be identified without an explicit evolution model such as phylogenetic trees. Without an explicit evolution model, pairs CB, CD, and DB are counted as potential mutations. But with the evolution model depicted in the phylogenetic tree, only CV and DB are point-accepted mutations. The mathematical model starts by setting 1PAM as the basic time evolutionary unit. 1PAM corresponds to one point-accepted mutation each 100 amino acids, or what is the same 1% of mutations per precision. The model assumes an eventually infinite sequence of observation each separated from the next by 1 PAM. The number PIJ1 is the probability of observing character J in the next observation, given that character I is in the current observation. The previous setting configures a discrete Markov chain model. According to the theory of Markov models, we do not need to make K observations to know the probability of observing J if I was the initial observation. It has been proven that by constructing the matrix M1 of all probabilities Pij and multiplying it by itself K times, the resulting matrix is the values of the probabilities of observation J condition to the observations of I after K1 PAMs. So, the effort concentrates in constructing M1, the so-called probability transition matrix. M1 is built on the basis of frequency counts and mutability. For each amino acid, the first is the ratio of the number of occurrences of the amino acids over the total number of amino acids in the sample. The second is the sum of amino acids pairs observed on each branch of the phylogenetic trees over the number of occurrences of the amino acids. This is the leftmost upper half of the matrix of point mutation counts of sequences that are within 1 PAM evolutionary distance. And these are the corresponding mutability counts. 
The constant of proportionality is introduced in order to satisfy the requirement of Markov transition matrices, that the sum of each row be 1. The entries of M1 are defined with the previous pair counts, frequencies, and mutability through these formulas. Each entry in a PAM matrix indicates the likelihood of the amino acid of that row being replaced with the amino acid of that column through a series of one or more point accepted mutations during a specified evolutionary interval rather than these two amino acids being aligned due to chance. Since M1 is a mutation transition probability matrix, Markov theory is applicable. PAMK is thus defined as the log odds ratio of the probabilities in MK over the frequencies. It is worth remarking that PAM matrices are not Markov transition matrices, but matrices that store the likelihood of transitions that are derived from them. In particular, in order to change k, it is necessary to multiply m 1k times with itself and redo the computations for transforming it into a log odds matrix. Here is the upper leftmost block of m 250. This is the result of multiplying m 1 250 times with itself. Matrix m 250 is the basis for PAM 250. This is the upper leftmost block of PAM 250. It is worth pointing out that unlike blossom matrices, in PAM 250 there are several off-diagonal positive entries. Some of them, as the entry DE indicate, that the likelihood of substitution of D and E is even higher than that of A and N be conserved. The PAM units that correspond approximately to each percentage of identity are depicted in this graph. As expected, as the percentage of identity increases, the number of PAM units decrease, indicating shorter evolutionary times. According to the graph, BLOSSOM 62 corresponds approximately with PAM 52, and PAM 250 will be close to a BLOSSOM 18. However, since BLOSSOM and PAM matrices are based on different models, these equivalences are not directly reflected in their actual values. Here is a summary of the most commonly used PAM matrices, each accompanied with a qualitative measure of the corresponding evolutionary distance. As a way of summary, we remark that PAM is derived from statistics derived from an explicit model of evolution and from observations that are global, in the sentence that are not restricted to block segments. Precisely because of the global character of its data sources, PAM matrices are more adequate for assessing the likelihood of character substitutions in closely related proteins where similarities are more uniform and not restricted to short sequences segments.